coming back to Bournemouth is so cool because I haven't been here for ages. And I'm seeing all these little things and I'm like, oh, wow. Like, that was where I used to do that. And that was where I used to hang out with so-and-so. And Bournemouth was a big part of growing up and part of training. I've got a lot of friends here that I used to train with. Probably like at least once a week I used to come down. It's good to be back. I love climbing, I love free running and just anything that's physical and involves being creative and moving, but mainly the, the creating stuff. It doesn't even have to be about climbing. I just love creating these little pieces of art. I think it's really important that people get rewarded for their work, especially if their work is good and is having a positive effect on other people or the world. I think Rick's creating something that's just, it's just beautiful. It just adds to the, it just adds to Bournemouth, makes it an even cooler place. This is a celebration of Bournemouth's creativity, first and foremost. Um, the, the sort of style and, and the aspect of it was taken from the history of Bournemouth's um, sort of seaside town, you know, tourist destination. So we used a Victorian styled image, imagery that um, reflects that. And then within that, we built in lots of references of you know, people who are creative today and, and, and have come from the Bournemouth's past. Football plays quite an important role in Bournemouth. So it was good to go to the stadium and kind of explore it a bit and see, see how it all goes down. It's a real privilege, as I say, there's some key moments for, for Bournemouth history up there um, and to be representing the football club is, is a huge honour for myself. I would say if you want to support the people that are creating the content you love to watch or listen to, the most important thing is just to watch it in the right place, get it from the right place.